how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you some lesser known hidden samsung features and settings that every samsung owner should know about these hidden features will definitely help you to get most out of your samsung device so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started with the release of iPhone 15 Pro Max, Apple introduced something called as Action Button that allows you to customize and assign different shortcuts to a specific button. But did you know your Samsung phone already got this feature and it actually works even better? All you need to do is go to Settings, select Advanced Features and then select Side Button. Here you can configure and use your power button to open your camera or even you can open your favorite applications. But these are some basic features. What if you want to go beyond that and assign some more useful actions? I'll show you how you can do that. Simply install the GoodLock app on your phone. You will find a direct link in the description below. Once done, just open and install this module called Registar. Now go inside Registar and select this option that says Side Key Press and Hold Action. It is disabled by default. Just go ahead and turn it on. Now you can assign even more actions to this side key. You can take screenshots, access your Google Assistant, toggle the flashlight, put your phone in mute. You can use this button to show your notifications and there is an option to assign your favorite app as well. So that's how you can configure and make the full use of this power button. Whenever I want to open any app in a pop-up window, I just need to double tap on the back of my phone and it instantly opens that app in a floating window. I think it's the quickest way to open any app in a pop-up view and it definitely takes your multitasking to the next level. To enable this useful gesture on your phone, again you need to have the same module called Registar. Now go inside Registar and click on this option that says back tap action. Now you can set the double tap gesture to start the pop-up window and you can also assign one more useful action for the triple tap gesture. Once done, now when you want to open any app in a pop-up view, just double tap on the back of your phone and it opens that app instantly in a floating window. I think it's one of the most useful gesture that you can activate on your Samsung phone. Next in the settings, if you go inside accessibility and then select advanced settings, here you get this option that says time to take action. This basically controls the amount of time for a temporary on-screen notifications or the volume controller to stay on your screen. There are times when you get a notification or any pop-up on your screen and before you take action, that notification disappears. This same thing happens with the volume panel. Sometimes it gets disappear even before you take the appropriate action. Now if you really want to increase the time to take action, just go into accessibility and change the time to take action. It is set to default but you can change it to 10 seconds or 30 seconds or even more as per your requirement. But now when you bring up the volume slider, it's going to stay longer than the actual time and if you still want to make it disappear, then just tap anywhere on your screen. Not only you can unlock the phone using the fingerprint, but it also lets you to open your favorite app right from the lock screen. Guys, when I want to unlock my phone, I just use my right thumb and it unlocks instantly. Now if I use my left thumb, not only it unlocks my phone, but it also opens my favorite application. I think it's one of the easiest way to open any app directly from the lock screen. To enable this amazing feature on your phone, there is a good lock module called Routines Plus which you need to install on your phone. Now go inside Routines Plus and select Fingerprint to Website. What it basically does is, it lets you to open your favorite website or an app when you unlock your phone using the fingerprint. You can use one thumb to just unlock your phone and register the other finger to open your favorite app. So simply select a fingerprint which you would like to use and then tap on this edit icon. You can either set it to open any website or even add some useful actions. But what I like to do is, I just use it to open my favorite app. Just go to apps and select an app that you would like to access. That's it. Now when you want to launch your favorite app, just use the appropriate fingerprint. Whenever I want to do a quick calculation, I simply hate searching for a calculator in the app drawer because it's something that you would like to access immediately. So having it in your edge panel can definitely save a bit of your time. I just need to swipe from the edge like this and it opens calculator instantly. The best part is you can open inside any application since it's an edge panel. Now to get this useful feature on your Samsung phone, simply go to settings, select display, scroll down and make sure you have already enabled edge panel. Now go inside panels, here you need to search for a calculator in the Galaxy store and it is completely free to download. Once done, just make sure you have turn it on. 
Now, whenever you want to quickly access the calculator, you don't have to close the app, then go back to the app drawer and search for calculator. Instead, you just need to swipe from the edge and it opens calculator right away. There is one very underrated feature available inside your Samsung phone which you need to turn on right now. Just go into your phone settings and search auto optimization. It simply makes sure that your phone restarts from time to time when you are not using it to keep it running completely fine without any issue. So if this setting is disabled on your phone, then I will highly recommend you to go ahead and turn it on. Not only this, you also get an option to schedule when your phone will restart. Guys, this setting will make sure to clear all your unnecessary background tasks that are simply draining your phone's battery. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing hidden features for your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.